Hey, fun science video for you. Microwave popcorn. Wow. Don't you just love it? I love popcorn. But have you ever stopped to think about why does popcorn pop? Well, if you're in my class right now, I ask you on Wednesday to actually read in your book on pages eight and nine. And you need to tell me in class right now what you learned about why popcorn pops. So I'm going to pause the video because in class right now, if you don't tell me, you're not going to get to see the rest of the video. So right now, pause the video. All right, if we're back, that means that you just told me in class, according to the book, why popcorn pops. And what's interesting is the book also says on page eight that there should be a way to evaluate this. There should be a way to evaluate what we just said. And so according to what we were reading when we were doing our reading and talking about the book, this means if there's a way to evaluate it, it means that it's a blank idea. So I want you to type into the chat right now, because we're in Zoom, what type of an idea is it if it's able to be evaluated? So type your answers, and I'm going to pause the video. If we're back, that means that somebody typed that it's a testable idea, and that's absolutely right. So the question is, how do we test the idea that you just told me about, about this popcorn making it pop? Well, see, it seems like if the book is right and that inside of these kernels that are in here, if there truly is inside of those kernels water like the book says, and if truly when we heat it up in the microwave, it causes the water to first boil and then turn into a gas, well, if it turns into a gas, the kernel, the pressure inside the kernel is going to build and build and build. And eventually it's going to go. And that's when the kernel pops. So if the water vapor made it do that, the water vapor is going to what the kernel? I'm waiting for you to come up with an answer. I'll pause the video in class. Hopefully, the class just told me that that means that that water vapor is going to escape the kernel. So how would we test it? What could we measure? If water's leaving the kernel, okay, if water's leaving the kernel, what could we test? I'm, I'm kind of putting an idea, uh, trying to give you an idea maybe in the video right now something we could test i don't know maybe i'm gonna pause the video and get some of your answers on zoom all right that's right we could test and see if the mass changes see if the water vapor escapes and it was there before well the kernels should have a you decide, as a class, would the kernels, after you pop them, have a higher mass or a lower mass? Right now, you're on your video screen on our Zoom. You're going to be telling me if it would be a higher mass or a lower mass. So I'm looking at the screen and looking at your vote, and I'm pausing the video. So I just saw you on the screen. Hopefully, your class got this right because you're getting points for answering questions right in class right now. So I hope you voted correctly, but the mash should be less after it's popping. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna put this on this balance. Yes, this is a tool that we use to measure the mass. And we see right now that the balance is balanced, okay? It's gonna stop moving here. And when it stops moving, I'm gonna record that value that is 101 something. But remember last week we learned that a number without units is meaningless. So what would that be? 101 what in the science classroom? Pause the video. Hopefully your class just told me it'd be 101 grams. So that's the unit. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take the popcorn and we're going to go ahead and we're going to pop it in this microwave. So 
I got a feature on this microwave where I can just hit a button that says pop the popcorn. And we're gonna start to pop the popcorn. Now, as we're popping the popcorn, hopefully that's not screwing up the video sounds too much or anything like that. We're gonna let it pop. And we'll start to hear it pop and I'm gonna monitor it. And we're gonna wait. We're gonna wait for it to finish popping. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it back on the balance. And while we're waiting for it to pop, I want you to predict, is the balance gonna have a higher mass or a lower mass? Hopefully we'll get this right since we just were talking about it, all right? And we'll see then if we are actually correct. So we're gonna kind of wait and listen to it popping, all right? I gotta kind of listen for it. And uh, hopefully we'll start hearing it pop here in a second, hopefully, all right? This one's taking a while. This is an older bag of popcorn. So hopefully, there it's going, finally. I love popcorn, I'm getting excited. I wish you were able to be with me in class because if you were able to be with me in class right now, I'd share the popcorn with you. But you know what? I'm making this on Wednesday, on a Wednesday and none of you are in a Zoom today and I'm working and I'm gonna eat the popcorn because I've been working hard all day just like you've been doing work, I've been working hard on Wednesdays too, making this video and doing other things. So there it's going and we're hearing it. Yeah, it's getting exciting. Pop, pop, pop. Got about 10 seconds left. Yep, we're getting close, we're getting close. And you know, of course, when you take microwave popcorn out, by the way, you can test this at your house if you like too, but I'm gonna take it out here and uh, hopefully, Oh yeah, 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 here we go. Oh, it smells so good, so good. So first thing I wanna do is I wanna watch you. When I open this, I wanna see if you can see anything in the video. I don't know if you'll be able to see this or not. Here we go, let's see. Oh, oh, perfect, you saw it. What, what's, what's escaping from the bag? Oh my goodness, something was escaping. What, what was escaping? Huh? What, what was escaping? Oh, wait, water vapor. So the bag should have a what mass? Well, let's go back over here. We'll, we'll go ahead and put it back on. Hopefully you'll be able to see me doing this. All right, I'm gonna put it back on. And you see that it went straight down, which means that it's a lower mass than it was before. And I'm gonna go ahead and try to write it down. I don't know if you remember that it started at, it started at, a hundred and one grams. And now <laughs> it's at 93 grams. Holy crap. Yeah, it lost. Are you, this is, this is cool. It lost eight grams of water vapor. And now We have popcorn. Science is fun. Go make yourself some microwave popcorn. And when you open the bag, be careful to not let the water vapor or steam burn you when you open it, but enjoy watching the water vapor flying from the bag. Science, mm, not only is science fun, it's also tasty. Have a great day.